This is an interview of John Green, the winner of many best-selling books. This interview will focus mainly on his book, Paper Towns. Thank you so much for having me. We're so happy to have you. My first question for you is, how does it feel to be the number one, the number one New York Times best-selling author? I honestly still cannot believe I have made it this far. It is such an honor to be where I am today. Trust me, it was not easy. I went through many obstacles and hardships to be where I am. Your passions always take extremely hard work, and this is just something I remembered as I grew in my writing career. I want everyone to know that you can be anything you want to be if you just put in the time and effort in. Uh, that's great advice. How do you come up with your characters? Some of my characters I take from my real life experiences, but on the other hand, some of my characters I just make up. I love to create my own characters based off of my imagination because it is just so much more fun. Most of my books are about the lives of teenagers and I really enjoy giving each of them their own personalities. We were all young once. Wouldn't you like to go back and create your dream teenage self? My book, Paper Towns, is completely made up and not based on a real life event. Oh, that's interesting. Well, okay, so is, is writing your full-time job? So writing is what I mainly love to do, but I also run a blog. For me, it is so much fun to get funny and creative and create my own blog posts. I love sharing them with my readers, and I especially love when my readers comment on my posts. It just makes my day when I receive hilarious comments. I also work as a producer, actor, and editor. I produce my own movies based off of my books because I feel like I can best create these films. A lot of fans may have also seen me on my educational crash course videos. These videos are where I get to really be myself and show my more humorous side while educating students around the world. I also run half a YouTube channel with a buddy of mine and make funny YouTube videos. That's one of my favorite parts about your books and about your personality is how funny and you just grasp the characters in their humor and people feel like they're a part of it. I love that. When did you realize you wanted to become a writer? Growing up, I had always been interested in all things having to do with religion. This is because I grew up in a religious household. I studied it all throughout college, and then I ended up receiving a degree in religious studies. I wanted to carry my interest in religion on by becoming a priest. I began to work with sick children in the hospital, and over time, I realized how much I loved reading to these kids. My goal of becoming a priest faded, and I eventually ended up getting a job as a publishing assistant. So I connected my love for religion with my love for writing by starting to write reviews of books on religion. Eventually, I began to write novels on my own, but they weren't exactly on religion. Wow, that's incredible. It's really, really um, interesting that religion has been such a subject for you. It comes out in your books, and people can really relate to that. What is the hardest thing about writing? Personally, the most difficult thing about writing is taking real-life experiences and putting them on paper. That might sound easier than making up stuff, but it is actually a lot harder. Sometimes it can be very hard to recreate these experiences. It makes me angry sometimes when I can't do it just right. But writing overall is very difficult and can be extremely frustrating, just like anything else can be. I get writer's block more than often, but I have learned that it is just something all writers experience. Writing does not always come naturally, and you just have to learn to have fun with it. And you can see that in all of your works, that you're having fun with your writing. And writer's block is so is incredibly natural. Every writer I've ever interviewed has had writer's block from time to time. And what advice would you give for beginning writers? So my number one thing would be just not to stress. Throughout my writing career, I have learned that stressing out gets you nowhere. 
Without stress, writing comes so much more naturally. Also, make sure to pay attention to your surroundings because inspiration for writing can come from anywhere, even if you don't know it. Have fun with what you're writing and don't be afraid to be yourself in your writing. Don't worry about, about others judging what you're writing because I promise someone out there will absolutely love what you have written. Write about whatever you want and don't listen to other people's opinions. Oh, that's great advice. Great advice for everyone in every um, occupation. And especially writing. You're just putting your heart out there on paper, I know. And then worrying about being judged must be a big part of um, your thought processes and, and allowing yourself to get involved with things that take away your stress and they take away these thoughts and get you into the um, mode of peace and um, surrounded with feelings of ease. You know, what? who would you thank for your success? Of course, I want to thank my friends and my family for being my inspiration for my novels, but I especially want to thank all of my fans. The amount of love and support I have received is more than I could ever ask for. Without the fans, I can honestly say I would not be where I am today. I love meeting and getting to know as many fans as I can. They just bring such positivity and happiness into my life and into my writing. Even the negative feedback helps me to become a better writer, and sometimes it is good for me to hear it. I cannot thank my fans enough for their love and support. I... Um know that you have so many fans out there. I, I believe there are millions, especially from your movies. Um, and that just must be thrilling for you. Now, how would you rate Paper Towns out of all of your books? Paper Towns is definitely in the top three books I have written. It is one of my more humorous books, which made it a lot more fun to write. I feel like a lot of teenagers who are my main readers can relate because the book describes a fun night out between two teens. It shows a funny teenage romance, which I think a lot of my readers enjoyed. I love to use events that people can relate to in my novels because it makes them 10 times more interesting. I also especially love to use humor in everything I do. And that's why you're so, so very popular with that age group, even especially because they feel that you understand them and being able to put a humorous twist on things that actually do happen in their lives means so much to them and then to an adult as they're brought back to that, that uh, part of their lifetime. Do you make all of your movies and books the same? I like to spice things up a little bit. Don't get me wrong, I love turning my novels into movies, but them being the exact same is just boring. Both my novels and movies have the same overall meaning, but I change up a lot of the details. I don't want my viewers to be bored while watching the movie if they have already read the book. Instead, I like to surprise them with a twist to the novel. It can be difficult to take my novels and make them into a movie with visual characters and locations, but the ending result is always worth it. Yes, hard work is always, always worth it, and you can see it in your writing. Do the settings of your novels come from your real-life experiences? So, this is similar to my characters. Some are real and some are made up. It does excite me when I get to visit a really cool and memorable location and include it in my book. That is what, what I usually do, but sometimes I don't even include where exactly my novels are taking place. I let the readers use their imagination at times. Other, other times, I use my own imagination to create where I would think my characters would best fit in. When I make my novels into movies, I get to see these places come to life. Well, what awards have you won over your writing career? Again, I give all the credit to my friends, family, and my fans. Over my writing career, I have won the Edgar Allan Poe Award and Corinne Literature Prize for one of my favorite books, Paper Towns. I won the Michael L. Prince Award for my books, Looking for Alaska and An Abundance of Catherines. Other awards I have won include the Children's Choice Book Award, National Author Award, and Los Angeles Times Book Prize. Wow, that's incredible. And 
Is that all we have? Um, I, I do believe that's all we have time for today. And thank you so, so much, John Green. Thank you.